leave my side Oh how I love those eyes It a tell me come me Mr. Cornelius, 
is gonna we're gonna be co-hosting tonight. And tonight I have the one of the greatest DJs in NYC, DJ Obi Wan. Can you introduce? Let me see. You, let them see you. Let them see you. DJ Obi Wan in the building. Can you give DJ Obi Wan a round of applause, please? My humble name is FM MC FM. You can call me FM. Anyone is good. So to start tonight, we're gonna do the recognition of guests. Everyone is special tonight. You are all special. We appreciate everybody. But the request of the celebrant is to recognize certain people tonight. The first on the list, please can I have your attention, please. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. The first on my list is Mr. and Mrs. Frebo Adego. Please can you stand up for recognition? Can you give them a round of applause? Mr. and Mrs. Adego, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. The second person is Dr. Chief Mrs. Ofori. Can you stand up for recognition, please? Dr. Chief Mrs. Ofori. Thank you, Daddy and Mommy. We appreciate you. The third person is Chief Robinson Abada. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Stand up for recognition, please. Thank you, Daddy and Mommy. We appreciate you for coming. And we have Mr. Williams Okoro. Mr. Williams Okoro, please stand up for recognition. Thank you very much, sir. And the last on the list is um, Dr. Agunu and family. Dr. Agunu and family, representative of the family. Thank you very much for coming. We appreciate you. So now, the next on the, on the list is, we want to welcome officially the celebrant for the night. So I'll request daddy, mommy, family, please I need you guys to go outside and majestically dance, walk into the celebration. Thank you very much, sir. DJ Obi-Wan.
hearts to do it, but I still want everybody to be on their feet. Please, I want everybody to be on their feet. Thank you, sorry. Thank you very much. Behind every great man, there is always a great woman. I wasn't asked to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I want everybody to be on their feet. Thank you very much. If you don't have a good wife, so I'm sorry guys, you can't live long. If you have a good wife, you will live long. I want everybody to give mommy a sounding round of applause. Everybody. No, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. A sounding one. Behind every great man is a great woman. Mommy, we thank you for taking care of daddy. Thank you very much, man. You can all have to see it. At this point, I'm, we're going to do the opening prayers. And for the opening prayers, I'm going to invite Dr. Agunu for the opening prayer. Thank you very much, Dr. Yes, Dr. Agunu. Please, can we also rise on our feet? Thank you. Let's honor God. Thank you. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> yes, if you are a man and you have hands on your head, just honor the Lord and remove your heart. We want to talk to our Father, our Creator, the one that makes heaven and earth. Can you remove your heart if you don't mind? If you are a man. Let us thank you for this special occasion. This awesome this is our Father in heaven, we thank you, we bless you. We thank you because of your faithfulness. We thank you because you are the God that answers prayers. We thank you because this is a special day in our life, in this family, as a country. David celebrated such a day, and we are celebrating our brother today, marking this wonderful time. Our Father, we thank you. Take the glory in the name of Jesus. My father has led him so far for how he has crawled from Nigeria to different places and now he's here with the children. He brought all the children here for a greener pasture. That desire, that willing, and that joy of his heart, that he made it possible to have bring the children here. Father, we pray that you continue to bless his hand from the beginning to the end in Jesus. He will never bury a child. He will live long to celebrate his life. He will live long and see his great children and great grandchildren. Those ones that are still waiting to see the fruit of the womb, Father, we are taking this point as a contact. Father, touch the womb of those children that have not had children. Let there be baby in that womb in the name of Jesus. Every barrier that has been standing between them, Father, I command and I stand as the oracle of God from this day. That barrier is broken in Jesus' name. Amen. As we are celebrating him this day, O God, we pray that other people that aspire to get to this day, they will get there and they will celebrate more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. As he is celebrating this one, O God, we are believing you that you give him another 70 years across again of time in the name of Jesus. Amen. He will grow old like Moses. His eyes will not be dead. His hand will not be feeble. And the labor of his hand will continue to rip them in the name of Jesus. The arrow that flies in the night and in the day will never touch him and his family in the name of Jesus. Father, I cover him with the blood of Jesus. And the participant in this organization, in this place now, Father, we come here early with our legs and our hands. Father, all of them will go back to their different home and they will celebrate you again at their home in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every arrow of the enemy will destroy their plans in the name of Jesus. Amen. Success will follow everyone that is here in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. And we pray that the presence of God will continue to follow us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you because we know you answer. In Jesus' mighty and victorious name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's give God to our a round of applause. Wow, wow, wow. I've never been proven wrong. Well, I've never been proven wrong since my 33 years on earth. There is not, you can never have a short African prayer. 
Daddy went all out. It's always one thing and one thing. Thank you very much, Daddy, for that prayer. We appreciate you, sir. Um, at this point, we I'm going to invite the Urubo MC, Mr. Cornelius, for his own assignment. Can we have Mr. Cornelius, the Urubo MC?
and it makes sure we try our best in whatever we do. On multiple occasions, you can go to him and he's never ready. Even if he's sleeping, he's tired, he just got back from work, trust me, you get up. Provided he has anything to do, do with education, he's always there. He has pushed us so far, and most of us that are where we are presently is because of his tenacity in terms of education. We appreciate him because I've seen a lot of situations where some parents relocate and they have struggles um, bringing their kids over. None of us was born here. All of us relocated here. We understand the struggle back in Nigeria. My dad made sure he spent everything with the support of my mom to bring all of us over. And for that, we cannot take that for granted because we know how Nigeria is present. That is one thing that for sure we are forever going to be grateful about. I'm here to say we love you, Dad, and we thank you so much for instilling a lot of discipline in us. We appreciate you and we pray that God continue to give you long life to live and enjoy the fruit of your day. So um, I'm going to say share to my dad for uh, it being a great dad. Thank you. Thank you very much, Doctor. There is one thing that is very sure and certain. Every father should know whatever you, your child will follow your example. You can see that he was, uh, that he is still a mechanical engineer, so you, can, you wouldn't be surprised for him to produce a doctor. Thank you very much, doctor. We really appreciate you. Daddy and mommy, thank you for giving us the doctor. We appreciate you. At this point, I know we are all hungry. Back over there, we have a lot of food. We have rice, we have chicken, we have everything you want. I want us to do this very orderly. I'm gonna start with the elders at the front. Please, if you like, you can make your way back to get yourself food, get yourself drink, then we can continue the party. Thank you very much. DJ Obi. Oh, yeah. 
know the celebrant because you're just eating. Let me test your brain. Let me see if you know the celebrant. Who can tell me that's actual birthday? Who can tell me that's actual birthday? Let me see your hand. You want to tell me? Anybody? Wow, so you just came to eat. You want to tell me? Wait, let me see. What was the day? August 21st. August 21st. Is that right, Daddy? He said no. <laughs> Who else? You can't tell me that's birthday. Actual birthday. Oh, you want to try? You said. No, I need the month and the thing. <laughs> Twenty six, Daddy. Oh, he said no. Sorry. Wow. Who can tell me on this side? Who on this side? That is birthday. Okay. Nobody knows it. So one last, oh. one last question. Who can tell me that's favorite color? That's favorite color. <laughs> That's favorite color, who can say? Oh, you don't have a favorite color? You don't? Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's fair enough. <laughs> so at this point, okay, um, I was told to ask mommy the favorite color. Mommy would know. No, let me, let me hear from mommy first. <laughs> mommy said blue. <laughs> Can you give a round of applause for mommy? So at this junction, people, I'm going to invite Dr. Julius for the vote of thanks on behalf of the family. Dr. Julius, can you give Dr. Julius a round of applause, please? Can you give Dr. Julius a round of applause? Hello. I can't speak it all. So I want to appreciate our elders here uh, for making out time to grace this occasion with us. Uh, we appreciate you all. We thank you for being here. Also, our friends that are here. We also appreciate you all for making our time out of your busy schedules to make it here at this hour of the day to join us in celebrating our dad. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Uh, we pray that as you go, the Lord will take you home safely in Jesus' name. And we will have more reasons to celebrate. Next time we pray that if we invite you guys for more celebrations, you'll be there for us. Thank you very much. Yeah, one more special request from the celebrant. Daddy wants to say something to people.
poverty in my country. I prayed to God and God granted it. God made it possible for me to do it. I have eight children. Mothers. I brought all of them to America. Not only that, I brought all of them to America, the married ones, I brought the wives and the husbands. I feel my mission is accomplished. And I, I really thank God from the bottom of my heart. I know what I pass through while in my living. And I pledge what I pass through, my children never pass through. And God granted us. So I thank God for everything. For making it possible for me to achieve this. So I'm grateful to God before me. So that is what I really want to say before my day of me the group of time. Thank you. Can we give that a round of applause? Daddy, you will see more years and heart in good health. Can I hear amen? Can I hear a louder amen? amen? At this point, I'm going to invite Daddy and Mommy to call the cake. Can we give them a round of applause as they walk to the cake?